Hey there, welcome back to a new Photoshop tutorial with PSD Box. My name is Andre, and in this Photoshop tutorial, I will show you how to turn this image into something like this. Uh, it's an intermediate to difficult tutorial. I'm gonna use the same techniques as in previous tutorials that I made with some minor changes and some new techniques, maybe. Um, I'm using Photoshop CS6, but you can use any Photoshop version that you have, Photoshop CC, CS5, CS3, CS2. So you'll have all the stock images that I use for this tutorial in the resources folder, um, along with the PSD file. And um, I will start by using the background image uh, as a starting point. So this is the resources folder, and this is the image that we're going to start with. Okay, you can see the dimensions are 4000 by 2667 pixels, which are the dimensions that I'm going to use. So the first thing you want to do is unlock this background layer by holding the Alt key and double clicking on the layer to turn it into a normal layer. And I use the pen tool and I drew a path around this pier and deleted everything. You can use any selection tool that you want, you can even use the quick selection tool, but with the pen tool I thought it was more accurate. I also excluded this, uh, I'm gonna leave it like that, I think it looks okay with this light here, right where this lighthouse is, and we have the light concentrated here in the middle. Okay, now we have the uh, background and the sky blended uh, pretty nicely I think not perfect but it looks nice and we have to make some adjustments here um, the first adjustment that I made is a gradient overlay to the background layer itself so double click to open the layer styles and choose a gradient overlay and here I just wanted to have the lower part of the background a bit darker and I used an opacity of 68 percent and change the blend mode to multiply okay and you can see the effect and now I'll go down here to the sky layer and I'll use the magic wand tool again we'll see if we have to maybe you'll have to move to change the tolerance let's see well 25% is okay and just click on this see this brighter areas of the sky like so select an area like this now go back to the moon layer, select its layer mask, this black layer mask that I just created, switch colors, the, the um, foreground color to white, and then Alt and Backspace to fill that selection with white. And you will see that the moon now is only visible where we selected, uh, on those areas that we selected. You can refine the selection with the brush tool if you want. Uh, it's not really that necessary, because we will soften this and I'll show you how. Okay, so now that you have this selection, you can see the edges are horrible. If you zoom in 100%, you can see how bad this looks. In Photoshop CS6, we have an option. If you double click on the layer mask, you will open this panel and you have an option that says feather. If you increase this, you will soften the layer mask and you can see how the clouds start to look a lot better now. Uh, don't increase it too much. You'll make it too soft and that's not what we want. Oh, well, it depends also on what you like. I'll leave it on maybe 35 pixels or something like that. And this is what happens. Let me show the layer mask. Okay, so this is my layer mask. And now I'll reopen the hue saturation, reset everything. And now I'll go inside the reds or what you can do is with this hand icon, just sample the color and this samples your reds automatically. And what I wanna do here is just um, change a bit the saturation and the lightness of the dress itself. And I'll give the settings that I have so you can see I have selected the reds. So I have zero on the hue, minus 31 on the saturation and on the lightness minus seven. And I'll give you the values that I have here. So I have uh, 306 here for the first uh, controller 305 306 doesn't really matter 336 here for the second one and for the other ones on the right I have 350 356 degrees more or less and then 10 degrees here okay so this is how I edit uh, how I edited this reds color 
and then on the master I also changed the master so let's go back to the master and I have minus 8 to change a bit this take away some of that orange tone on the dress and on the saturation minus 21 and minus 17 on the lightness this makes the the dress darker but we have a problem we lost a bit of contrast and we lost a bit of punch on on the dress itself so we can fix that with some levels so just add the levels adjustment again clipped to the model layer and the values that I have are 0, 0 0.80 and here um, 211 just to give more contrast to the image but the problem is that it also affects the skin which we don't want so again we can use this layer mask so what I will do is copy it here so I'll press and hold the alt key click and drag it on top of the other one let go and I click yes that way uh, I will not affect the skin because you can see it's uh, it's black so this layer mask hides the effect over the skin but I still I still want to reduce some of the contrast on the skin as well so I'll create a new levels adjustment I'll just duplicate it, the previous one oops and I'll just clip it again but this time I'll reverse the layer mask I'll press Control command I to invert the layer mask I'll reset it and I'll give you the values that I have so 0, 0 0.88 and 234 okay this makes the skin looks a bit brighter and then I have a hue saturation again all that only affects this skin so you can see this layer masks uh, this layer mask that I created really helps me uh, on all of these adjustments so I, I created another hue saturation clipped to the model and I will use the same layer mask as here the inverted one because I only want to affect the skin here oops not a gradient map I want a hue saturation clipped and I'll copy the layer mask okay and here are the settings that I have for this hue saturation so we have 0 minus 34 just to desaturate the skin a bit and zero and that's it this is the adjustment that I wanted to to have uh, without using the levels the skin looks uh, too um, like I don't know needs contrast so that's why I use these levels okay so this is the uh, these are the adjustments that I made to the model layer now let's uh, move on and take care of the hair and now I'll show you how I painted the hair. The first thing you want to do is make sure you have this layer mask here. Um, if you don't have one just create it or if you I have this as a smart object but if you don't have it or if you don't have a layer mask just make sure you create a layer mask and get the brush tool. Use a soft brush, a really soft brush. Uh, by the way we still have to make some additional shadows here I forgot about it. Um, and with, on this layer mask paint with this soft brush um, and just get rid of some well the edges of the hair we we want to make it smooth but not here where we have these white areas I think it looks nice so uh, you can give it a try it's a good technique you can also try the blend mode technique that I just told you about but this looks quite nice I think let's move on and make that shadow that I told you I forgot about so I'll create a new layer on top of this and I'll name it soft shadow and I'll get a brush tool, a really soft brush. Uh, you'll have all these brushes on the resources folder so you can you can use them. And I'll use an opacity of about 10 and flow 30% and just make a few passes, make sure I disable any, everything here. Just a couple of passes, maybe 20% on the opacity. As I said, I will assume the light comes from here so the part that's behind the model is a bit more in shadow and I also have to create some shadows on the dress itself so between the adjustments and the model I'll create a new layer and I'll name it model shadow and I'll just paint oops 20% is too much 10% opacity just paint the, the dress on the 
shadow part well I'm behind the dress here a bit just to make it darker a bit before making any adjustments I want to create a soft light here on the moon using a big soft brush like this one so I created a new layer I'll put it on screen and I'll use the 100% opacity and flow on the brush and I'll use a light like maybe dark like this let's see oops let's use a soft brush and see how that looks yeah, it looks nice maybe a bit more a bit darker like that and a bit bigger yeah it looks nice see I like how that light uh, looks here on this part of the of this lighthouse and then I'll create a new layer below this and with an opacity and flow of 10% and color black I just want to darken parts of the image I'm sort of a vignetting effect on some parts of the image okay I think that looks nice now okay see that just a touch of darkness on the edges you can use a you can use the vignette effect if you want, but with the brush, that's like okay. The lips. And on the same layer, you can also enhance the hair if you want. Let's use a color like this and see how that looks. With a really soft brush. With the brush, though, not with the eraser. That's too dark. Something brighter. Still too dark, something even brighter. Yeah, that looks nice. It's too strong, but we will take care of that. I'm doing it really quick. And then select the hair. And again, paint over it like this. And that's it. And now if you want to um, make sure that the color is only well actually if you want to uh, it's too strong okay so what I will do is select this lasso tool and only select the hair and now I can press control command U oops I have to exclude the lips because I have them selected okay and I have them on the same layer and now I can press control command U reduce the saturation maybe increase the lightness Let's see. Let's leave the lightness how it was. Just decrease the saturation a bit. Okay. And this is the before and after. You can use levels if you want to make things more contrasty. Okay. Before and after. We're done with make a really quick makeup on the on the girl itself. Okay, so now let's uh, create those adjustments. The first adjustment that I want to create is a gradient. I want to create more vignette, more vignetting effects. So make sure you have the color, uh, the foreground color black and the background to white, and choose black to transparent. Change the the um, style to radial. And reverse it because we want to have this hole in the center and I'll open the gradient and just change the transition a bit. 